Well, everyone, we're back on the Bronco again. Uh, I don't know what to call this. Is this a refresh, uh, a refreshment or just a restoration? I don't see it as a restoration job because I'm not doing the whole thing. Just kind of bringing it back up to, you know, kind of so it's drivable, uh, like a daily driver kind of thing. Um, it's not going to be a concourse restoration or any of that kind of thing. So I really don't know what to call it. You guys tell me what you think this series should be called. For now, I'm just going to say revitalization, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, I have an engine hood for this. I didn't bring that up in the last video. But yeah, I do have an engine hood for this. This It came with the original engine hood, actually. Uh, it's been, someone had painted it uh, with a sort of a flat black. Uh, but the white paint is underneath of it. It seems to be in pretty good shape. There's a couple of little... Uh, scratches or creases and dents from handling because it was been off the, the, the Bronco for quite some time. So I'm thinking about taking the top off and we'll put that on the back of the, the yellow uh, short bed, the 79 short bed, and bring the engine hoodie in so we can uh, make this truck look fairly complete. Now these hinges are seized and I don't want to, I want to I'll take them off but I don't want to put them in the, the blast cabinet because I'm using aluminum oxide. If I had glass in there, uh, glass crushed glass or glass bead, I would have been, I would do it. But I don't want aluminum oxide in these pins area because it, it'll wear them out. So I, I'll probably just clean those up uh, the best I can with rust uh, remover. But anyway, this video right here is some of those things. I don't know how many of those things we'll, we'll get to, like taking this top off and bringing the hood in but i like to a part of the cleanup on this vehicle and i know it's it's great looking patina and everything right here all this moss and fade and all that stuff um but i uh i'm not happy with that uh, even though it took 20 years for this to accumulate and you know nature does its thing but i would like to see it more like the original color like right here where I started already so anyway that's what this is about this uh, this video is about cleaning up the paint um, trying to get this truck kind of back in order again to make it look like it was or close to what it was so let's go at that and uh, I haven't done a lot inside of here I did some rush treatment and stuff but it needs to be sanded and like I said that uh, brake booster has to come off and fix up why the brake pedal is sticking so we'll get uh, set up and we'll start cleaning up this old paint. And we'll see if we get as far enough to take this off and bring the hood in. Well, there's the engine hood. That wasn't that bad. Uh, these aren't super heavy. They're just very awkward. I don't know what they weigh, maybe 75 pounds or so. Anyway, so it's got some scuffing on it. And uh, like I said, here's these scratches from just general handling off the vehicle. Uh, the little small dent there, it, you know, that's the way it goes. Easy stuff to fix up. I mean, this is uh, from 1978 and it's been uh, handled around. It looks like somebody was maybe trying to get off some of that paint. What I'm going to do there with that black paint, I think I'm going to go at it with some lacquer thinner. Uh, I have done that. I did that on the old Thunderbird and I was able to get rid of all the, the cheaper, inexpensive paint. Uh, and leave the paint below. Anyway, we'll see what we can do with it. Either way, um, if I can't salvage it, it'll have to be repainted. But for now, let's just see what we can do with it. All right, let's go get the, see if we can get this topper off.
just a storage place for now. Yeah, I'll put some clamps on it. It'll be good. All right. Well, that's done with. Well, that's starting to look more like a, a summertime fun thing. I like it. It looks good. Good old Bronco. I cleaned all the back out. I mean, the, the carpet stained and all that kind of thing. Seat still needs to be cleaned in the bottom a little bit, but I did to clean up the the back a bit on the seat. Let's have a look. There. Ready for a cruise to the beach, I think. Looking good. So, all right. I'll put that back up because I want to clean the roof. It's kind of in the way. But that's kind of cool. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. All right, let's get this started. I went and got a bucket of uh, warm water and Dawn dish soap too, just to kind of rinse it down. So I'm gonna do a spray a little on, see how it goes. guys think is that an improvement let's take a quick look over top I think it uh, it was well worth the effort it's a little hazed on the on it now I have to rinse it off better there's still some of that uh, LA awesome on it but I got I've gotten pretty much most of the moss off I just want to mention too that LA awesome uh, as you get it and you're going to use it on glass, make sure you do dilute it. it is, um, in their instructions, it's not to, not to be used on, directly, like full concentrate on glass. I suppose it might uh, haze it or etch it a tiny bit, so just be careful of that. I'm using uh, the 50-50 mix, so I'm not too worried about it. I didn't have to go to full concentrate. Uh, there's a little more edges here to clean up around the drip rails and stuff like that, and then I'm going to work my way down. So... I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, I'll go over the whole thing with fresh water and uh, actually I have some uh, turtle wax, uh, wash and wax stuff. So I'll probably go over the whole thing with that just to make it look shiny. But that's, uh, I think that's a good improvement already. Man, that uh, visor, holy, it was, it was packed on there. Anyway, let's get going on the rest of her. That's looking quite a lot better. Even shine the rust up a tiny bit. She's looking good. So now I'm gonna go over to the other side and do it. And I'm not going to uh, make you guys watch that, but it'll look the same. All right, well, it's a different day. Uh, I took a couple days off from working on this Bronco. Um, in the meantime, my uh, flex plate came in. So I've got the flex plate, so I can put that in, get the, get the engine prepped to get in place. I got some more cleanup to do on the engine. I still haven't painted the frame and stuff, so I have to do that. Um, oh yeah, yesterday I went ahead and I uh, took these rims. I broke the bead on the rims. You'll notice that there's air in all of them. So I broke the bead and I uh, cleaned up the rim a bit and got the uh, tires so we can actually hold some air for a while. I suspect the front passenger side is not holding as good as I expected. It looks to be a little bit, let's see. To me, it looks to be coming down a tiny bit, but we'll see. It's been a full day now and they're still up. 
Um, before I did that, they would only stay up about an hour and they'd all be uh, low in air again. Anyway, that's what I was doing. Um, I want to tackle this engine hood. Now you see where I've, I've started using some lacquer thinner and cleaning it off. Now what's going on here is uh, at some point when they, when they went to paint this engine hood uh, black, they took a orbital sander and just went over it quick like this with a fairly heavy uh, grit. So there's really going to be, there's always going to be some scratches until it's repainted. But I'd like to get rid of the black for now. And then when the time comes, we'll have to repaint it, I'm sure. I do have another engine hood that I can use. It's blue, so it needs to be repainted as well. And this one's not in bad shape, so it's about this, as good a shape as the one I have. This one's got a few uh, dents and stuff in it. But once we get the black paint off, we'll actually see what we have. So this isn't going to turn out 100%. Like I said, I use, I'm using lacquer thinner to get the black paint off. And then I'm going over it with uh, some fine steel wool and some um, windshield spray just to kind of lubricate as I'm doing it. And it gets rid of most of the black stuff. Anyway, let's get set up and uh, see if we can get the black off this uh, engine hood. How do you like my new uh, graphics design? I'm calling it uh, Wisps of Smoke. If you see this around now, you remember, I'm the one that came up with these, this new design. It's not flames, it's called Wisps of Smoke. It's pretty sweet. Or the moral of the story is when you polish a turd, it's still a turd. <laughs> I think that's more of what's going on here. I did put some, uh, it's called the gunk engine protectant on it. That's why it's got that nice sheen to it. I wanted to enhance those wisps of smoke graphic design that I just, just invented just now. Well, all right. Well, that's, uh, that cleanup job went pretty good. <laughs> Except maybe don't, don't look at the wisps of smoke. Anyway, enough wisps of smoke. Um, I'm going to call it quits here on the cleanup project for now. Uh, I've got the flex plate to put in, or the engine to put in, sorry, I, but first I have some painting to do and get the flex plate on the engine and get it slung up over the grill here. And we'll go from there. Next video, I'll be uh, putting an engine in. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.